God also God showed also me showed that me election 2000 will bring a lame leader into office. Will lame he will be a leader who will be incapable of standing will, upon will, principles will and ethics, for he will lack the strength to and walk and upright. For he will lack the strength to walk it was election night 2000. Bush, the winner in Florida, and thus it appears, the winner of the presidency of the United States. I, George Walker Bush, do solemnly swear. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help me God. George Bush doesn't care about black people. To the extent that the federal government uh, didn't fully do its job right, I take responsibility. George W. Bush under attack, not from militant bombs, not even from friendly fire, but from this, a sweaty chew from an Iraqi reporter. He's been called worse in the past. Mr. Bush joked about the incident. It's a size 10 shoe that he threw. Well, Seems like the most unpopular kid in high school that nobody liked, you know, the, the one with the cooties. Everybody's shaking hands, but he walks in and nobody's shaking his hand and he's not shaking anybody's hand. Terrorists in the form of a great company of birds on that dreadful day, 9-11, will destroy the Twin Towers. Taken out. A day unlike any other in the long course of American history, that tower just came down. The second bullet just fell. More than four hours after the first explosion is the smoking hulk of the essentially vanished President World George Trade Center. W. Bush knew about the attack. And when he knew it. And I saw an airplane hit the tower. There's one terrible pilot. And uh, it said it must have been a, a horrible accident. This is the image that will haunt him and us for the rest of our lives. American and coalition forces are in the early stages of military operations to disarm Iraq, to free its people, and to defend the world from grave danger. That our forces will be coming home as soon as their work is done. <laughs> the president admitted that the economy is at risk of slipping into a recession. He then announced his desire to give the economy a boost with a combination of tax breaks and one-time rebates. Now, his, you know, he is in legacy mode, and it's going to be the economy that people are going to remember him for. Well, let me just say that I think this last State of the Union supports the fact that President Bush is now a lame duck. I lame duck, lame duck, lame duck. We must stop the terror. I call upon all nations to do everything they can to stop these terrorist killers. Thank, Thank you. you. Now watch this drive. Election 2000, a lame leader coming into office. Wow. When election 2000 came, when we were writing that prophecy, we were looking and saying, okay, election 2000, election 2000, election 2000. And then when all the hoopla started, we said, whoever comes in office, Spirit said it would be a lame leader will come into office. We didn't understand this until media started saying, we have a lame duck in the White House. Oops, a lame leader is in office. But then it got deeper when on the time of the exit of the president and the vice president, we begin to see VP Dick Cheney in a wheelchair, almost looking like FDR. Was that the lame leader that was in office? And then beyond 2008, as they exit, are we now experiencing the lameness of that legacy? These were all spoken in the written judgments by the prophets of God.
as we conclude, are you ready for what's coming next? That could be a police helicopter that is co- Oh! Wow. We just saw. Oh my goodness. You are another, looking at another live picture right now. A city shaken to its core, collapsing in a cloud of dust. Black smoke has been pouring out of huge holes in the upper portions of the building. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my word! Oh my word! Senator Barack Obama of Illinois will be the next president of the United States. 